Hello and welcome. So I've gotten this question a lot. It's essentially people asking, is the OCP for me, right? So I'm just going to say immediately that if you have a big interest in pen testing, and especially if you would actually like to get a job when it comes to red teaming or pen testing, um, or if you're on the blue team side, but you would like to increase your skill set and actually would like to understand the offensive mindset more to create better detection rules and really just to get a more uh, a larger understanding of security overall. Um, the same thing applies if you're more so a developer or sys admin and you would like to just learn more about the offensive side of things and how uh, different actual techniques being utilized and generally how to think and also just doing it yourself, right? Because there's no better learning than being forced to do it yourself. Uh, so I would say all of those are perfectly reasonable reasons to take OCP. There's definitely people as well that just get OCP as a challenge. They just like to have that sense of completion with the OCP. But I would say the biggest market probably is people that want to get into pen testing and the people that are just aware of how valuable the OCP is to slap on your CV and also just to get all of that practical experience because you will definitely learn a ton. Again, okay. so the price, a lot of people think is expensive and I would say it is expensive, but considering actually what you get out of it, I wouldn't say it's expensive. They know that they can push these prices for a reason, right? Because they know how people react and they know how valuable it actually is. So here's a little overview right here that I recommend reading through, but I will go a lot more in detail as well. They will tell you the general objectives, right? They, for instance, mention AV evasion. In my opinion, this is unlikely to come, but I still, <laughs> I wouldn't be completely oblivious to it. Um, but yeah, there are some things like that. And they have a syllabus as well. So this syllabus is like very general and it's not hyper specific, but I do have a actual syllabus here that is mentioning a lot more specifics. And I will leave all of these resources down below as well to make it just more helpful and convenient. But I definitely recommend reading through here. In my opinion, they're technically saying that anything here could come, but in my opinion, that's not fully true. But of course, I'm not going to reveal how any exam looks. And I don't even know, right? Because they changed the exam. And all I can do is just to give you the best roadmap and the best resources and the best teaching so that you have the highest possible likelihood to crush the OCP and actually achieve your goals, right? That's the main reason that I'm here. And yeah, that's all that I'm doing. So one thing that I also want to show is these resources right here. So this is essentially the onboarding uh, documentation. Again, I will leave all of these links down below so you can check them out. But this is like just a basic way to get started once you have bought the course, right? So you can buy it right here, start training, and then it'll take you to this section right here. So there's a learn one section. If you click details right here, you will see more information as we change through them both. Um, you will get one year of the access to single course plus labs and two exam attempts, right? So it says also build annually as well. So definitely keep that in mind for the learn one subscription. The other one that I would typically more so recommend if you want the OCP specifically for the most cost efficient, although that's subjective but in my opinion, then I would personally go with this bundle right here. Um, it's possible as well to just buy an exam attempt like as a standalone, but that's still very, very expensive. I think it's around 1.6k. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend this bundle right here because you get all of the course material and you get the labs and you also get an exam attempt footage, right? And again, if you fail, you can definitely purchase an exam retake. At the time of recording, I think it's around $250. So just keep that in mind, right? But once again, my goal here is to make sure that this is as least likely as humanly possible because I want to actually prepare you for the OCP as best as I can. Okay? Again, the syllabus, go through it. It actually covers things in detail and definitely just familiarize yourself with it, right? Especially if it's something related to like initial access reacted directory that you know for a fact will come, then definitely just make sure that there's techniques uh, out there that you don't want to be blind to, right? Like for, I'll give an example, like XSS, typically you don't associate with getting direct RCE, but XSS can, for instance, lead to cookie theft, which could lead to an admin session, which now possibly there's a public exploit with authenticated admin rights, right? Or perhaps you get access to an admin panel that has a vulnerability there, right? stuff like that um, there are definitely things that caught catches people off guard some people heavily under prepared for tunneling right how to pivot to a network 
this is something that definitely can come as well, right? So definitely just go through it and make sure that there's not something that you think is likely to come that you will be completely caught off guard, right? But again, I cannot tell anyone like guaranteed what will come on the exam because I just can't do that, of course. But I can lead you to general the right directions and I can give you good resources to actually prepare and I can explain things that uh, hopefully makes a lot of sense to you and just again I just want to prepare people as best as I can for the OCP so go through the onboarding uh, section as well this is where they talk about hints and flag submission and point generation um, this is more so relevant when you actually get into the after you bought the bundle right after you bought this one and you actually get access to the labs and you get access to their portal and you get access to the Discord and the private uh, Discord there where, you can, where people are doing specifically PEM 200, right? The OCP. Um, and this is the exam structure, right? You probably know this by now, but if you don't, uh, there's 100 total points that you can get. You just need 70 out of 100 to actually pass. And then after that, you have to write a good enough report to pass as well. Again, I'm just here to help. And I've seen people underprepare or have actually fail the report writing section because they don't understand what's important and people have passed the OCP, right, the lab section, but they actually failed the report writing and they failed because of it and they had to, you know, do it again. I really don't want that for you guys. So obviously that is why I have the course that I have that covers all of it, right? And I'm not excluding something like report writing or exam advice or, you know, post expectation or lateral movement or pivoting or anything. I want to cover basically all that you need so that you are prepared to crush it, okay? And this is just something I wanted to show as well. So this is like, it's quite obvious, but it's very worth mentioning. Is that the more machines you do, this is from OFSEC, these are the PWK lamp machines compromised, and they're just essentially highlighting the fact that the more machines you do, the higher success rates generally you will have, okay? It's obvious, but it's just something to keep in mind. And also I recommend that when you are doing machines, that you are taking some notes. It doesn't have to be pretty. It can be very, very ugly notes. But essentially, um, you do a public export to get access, and you just quickly just note down, for instance, um, like this WordPress plugin, and then um, you just take a note, and you save the PLC link or whatever, and then you just have it, right? Because it's always handy to have in the future, because you will most likely come to the same or something similar in the future. And especially as you're doing more and more machines, and it's just very handy to know, right? Uh, or maybe there was a public exploit that you tried that didn't work, and there was one that actually did work, right? But yeah, this is inside of the Hack Academy. You can see on the left side, we cover a lot. Uh, cannot cover all of this in this video, definitely not, but more so specifically the OCP, right? Because as you can see, it's over 24 hours, and I made all of this with the only purpose of just making sure that people are as prepared as humanly possible. And as you can see, I have all of the reporting advice in here. I have exam advice, exam restrictions, exam FAQ, because people have questions, obviously, right? And we also have the Discord as well, right? The VIP section right there that you will get access to when you're joining the WAP. Um, people saying that the course was really helpful and people are just generally asking questions and I'm always there to help and I'm always there to essentially explain, right? As you can see, people are passing the OSP and saying that the courses were really helpful and, you know, just generally a good vibe, right? We have over 300 members by now, right? So we have hundreds of students currently in and currently learning and it's really just awesome. So I really just want all of them to succeed. Uh, you can obviously check out reviews if you're still questionable or paranoid or anything, but the yeah. end. Also have a testimonial section, but I don't want to be too salesy, but the, <laughs> you get the point. We get a lot of good uh, reviews and that is just wonderful to see, right? So the, this course introduction by Terra will cover everything that you need in terms of how to utilize the course, right? Because I am providing all the structure that you need. You can also see techless inside of here and all of it. This is the roadmap, okay? So you can see right there, OCP roadmap. This essentially just gives you everything that you need in an actual structured way. Because one thing that I've realized is that even though people are doing a lot of machines, and again, I highly recommend that you get in a lot of volume, use different lists, like the list that we provide, use the list from Bankers and Augie, Netsec Focus, whatever, just use like these lists that are out there. But you do not want to be oblivious to important techniques, right? That's why the syllabus is quite helpful. And that's especially why this docs is extremely helpful as well, right? Because we have actually broken it down 
into all of the different techniques and useful things that you need to know. And then we have categorized it in terms of how proficient you are at it. And the only goal here is to essentially go from clueless to proficient, clueless to proficient at all of the different techniques, right? And again, this is just initial access. We of course have Active Directory as well. And we cover so many different techniques, right? And we have Active Directory, Initial Access, Pivoting, Windows, Privilege Escalation, and Linux Privilege Escalation. Okay, so that is one of the action steps, just to give you overview and structure, okay? Because that's a common thing that I've heard, is that people just feel overwhelmed. They're like, okay, I'm doing things, but how am I, how do I know I'm prepared? Like, what tools are allowed? Is this tool banned? Like, is this good enough reporting, right? And that's just why we're here, to really just give a lot of structure and a lot of reassurance. People are constantly asking us questions inside of the Discord, and we're always happy to help, and I'm certainly always happy to help, and people are getting a lot of reassurance, and there's a reason why people don't like, really leave, because they really like the resources, and they actually just want to make sure that they pass. And that is exactly what we're providing. So in this section right there is the rooms overview that I cover, right? And I want to be very clear that these are just not walkthroughs that are essentially just showing you the shortest path to attack a machine because that is not useful. Again, the only reason I made this course and the only the only focus really, the main focus of this channel by far, is just to make you prepared for OCP or very similar certifications so you can crush it. So that means that I am explaining all the tools that are allowed or disallowed on the exam, right? I have created a custom active directory chains because that's not something that really exists anywhere that is specifically made for the OCP. The only other place you can get custom chains like this is inside of the OCP labs themselves. You can do the OCP A, OCP B, and the OCP C challenge labs, right? I definitely recommend that you do those. 100% I recommend it. And I highly recommend that you do this as well, right? Because uh, it's very, very, very important to do chains and not just standalone active directory, right? Standalone is very, very, very important, but getting experience with chain is something that's difficult to find. So we made sure to make this and we'll make sure to make more as well in the future. Okay, so again, I'm explaining how to actually think as someone as the OCP, how to stay structured, how to think which tools are disallowed, which tools are not allowed, different fingerprinting techniques, just basically a general workflow as someone who has the OCP. So you can just, really just learn and copy and you can do all of the machines alongside. All of these are hyperlinks, so you can easily just find them instantly right here, right? So yeah, that's one of the things. And if all of this is confusing and you just want like, okay, if this is confusing, like what do I do? Just a roadmap. Just do all of the action steps in the checklist, right? Because there is essentially a checklist, as you can see. Checklist and additional resources at every single section. This is Active Directory. I also have useful tools and I also have the hash dumping ladder movement techniques as well in text. Uh, in terms of videos, it's over 24 hours. Checklist as well. And checklist, right? This is where these hyperlinks are going to. And if you complete this roadmap, you basically know that you'll prepare to get started on the OCP lamps and really just crush it short thereafter. Again, okay? I can promise you that. So yeah, it, it really is that simple if you feel overwhelmed. And yeah. It generally is just that simple. Literally just follow this exact checklist and go through and do all of the check and do all of the action steps inside of the checklist right there in all of the different sections and you will and you will be prepared, right? Make sure that you're pro proficient at all of the different things mentioned in this as well. This is That is one of the steps inside of the checklist like right there, right? And yeah, that is really all that you need. Again, you can of course just do machines and hope that it works and that's perfectly fine. You can just make sure that you use syllabus if that works, but this is really just for people that want to make sure that they aren't failing the OCP exam more than they need to and having to spend a ton of money for exam retakes and they really just want to study alongside other students as well, right? Hundreds of students and they just want the structure. Okay, so that's really all I'm providing. You can try it for free. So again, I do not want to take your money unless you think it's well worth it. It, we literally have a free trial for a day, so you can check it out. If you don't like it, that's perfectly fine. You pay nothing. But if you do like it, then you're happy to stay. And I would love to help you actually pass this OCP because I know that this is something that makes a lot of people stress. So yeah, I really hope this helps you out. And best of luck on your OCP journey. And have an awesome, awesome day.